what a hamburger. understand i i keep changing the game title both both on twitch and on streamlabs and yet when i go live it 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 says the previous game and i can't i can't figure out why i, I took very specific care today to make sure i change the games uh so sorry about that we are playing pajama sam 2 we are done with goosebumps. Um, I just I just changed the game again, so if it's if it still says goosebumps, then I can't. Uh, I don't know, but I changed it twice. Yes, the plan is if we have time after PJ Sam to check out uh, pinball ultra pinball creep night. Okay, cool. Thanks everybody. Yeah, I don't know why it changed back. I I don't know. So, how's it going? I uh, I decided to save the unboxing and the uh, installation for uh, the stream. Because I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're going to want to talk about the uh, Animal Crossing Direct before we get going. See, there's no way. I mean, I do have to change it after I stream, but then it sends out a... The problem is it sends out an alert that says I'm playing Goosebumps, you know? So that's why it's uh, it's a bit of a problem. It did that uh, with Goosebumps. It told everyone I was playing Nancy Drew, and that was not true. Um, yeah, so let's just... Let's get started here on Pajama Sam 2. And then once I get the disc in there, we'll start talking about... Uh, or should I just do Animal Crossing first? Maybe I should just do Animal Crossing first. Let's talk about Animal Crossing. Hold on. Uh, let's do... Um, Animal Crossing... Mm -hmm. Discuss. Yeah. Well, it doesn't all fit. <laughs> Hold on. What about... There we go. That's, you know, that's good enough. Then, should I put, like, then PJ Sam? Then PJ Sam. There we go. This is giving me a chance to talk about something while I read uh, donations and, and whatnot. Um, how's it going? PNC? What? It, huh? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, Animal Crossing Direct was a lot uh was a lot more than i expected they said uh, i i we're just going to talk about it so if you haven't seen it you might want to go watch it what's everyone yeah what's everybody most excited for they're adding a ton of stuff brewster uh looks you know kind of useless i mean i I've never really done much with Brewster. I wish he was a building I could place instead of in the in the museum. I'll probably never go there unless there's something to unlock mm -hmm. or something. Gyroids. Did not expect that. I did not expect... I just didn't think they were going to add him back. I, I, I didn't think that the demand was there. But I'm pumped for those. They look smaller... 
Uh, and I like that you can customize them. Yeah, gyroid farming, you have to like, you have to bury gyroid parts and water them and then they grow into, <laughs> into full gy... Just adds even more question as to uh, what the fuck are these things. Love it. What else was there? There's uh, stuff like the ladders. When are we going to get an insane aquarium too? I have an insane aquarium actually. Cooking. Cooking is pretty crazy. It's it's becoming like a cooking farming game. I'm wondering if you're going to be able to like give, like our villagers going to have specific favorite foods maybe? Yeah, the permanent ladders are cool. Dropping down the permanent ladders are pretty... I wish they would make the island. I know you can't just like make an island bigger, but now I'm like, is there going to be enough? Is there going to be enough stuff, like space for all the stuff? What else was just in the regular before we get to the DLC? What was else was just in the regular? They're adding the the shop stall island where you're going to be able to, I guess, recruit the people who normally visit randomly to, like, set up booths somewhere. Yeah, Harvey, I've never even been to Harvey. I never went to Harvey's Island. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, eh, eh. Meh. So uh, I, I'm excited to actually have something to do there. I like that the, that uh, Katrina's coming back. Cap'n is great. I like Cap'n's little motorboat, and I like how he stands while he's uh, piloting it. Pretty cool. I'm not really sure about the the. It's it's kind of like the the Dodo Airlines trip. Only it's a, a random island, like, without a villager. Uh, interested to see what the, the special islands, if there's just going to be... if Is that where you get the weird vines and strange plants? I have no idea. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't do the wedding event. Just none of that furniture looked very uh, interesting to me. Now they're adding more uh, Nook tickets. They're they're adding more. Um, oh wait, you're talking about like the the flying tickets. I'm thinking the the miles because they said they're they're adding new items for the Nook Nook Miles program or whatever. I think. Harriet, is that the is that the pink poodle that's now uh, was the, wait was that the 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 pink poodle. Was that the Shampoodle one that's now hanging out with Harvey and has like, uh, has some hippie hair? Love it. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. Writing Squiggle, thank you for the 21 months. Alchemist Gijo, thank you for the 24 months. Year of Brutal Moose 2. I like that they're adding more hair. I hope they're adding a ton of more furniture. Um, and I love that right after they said, this is the last free DLC, uh, we got some paid DLC. Mm -hmm. Because I've been asking for the paid DLC. So I'm happy to see it. I hope there's like furniture packs in the work. I will, I will spend more money for more items. I like the... Uh, I like the um, the happy home home designer stuff because I didn't do any of the happy home designer, so I like that they're uh, um, instead of doing a spinoff game like bringing it into the island. Oh, the entire time the wow. DLC stuff was happening, I was like, I wish I could do this on on my house. I wish I could do this on my house. And then they're like, you can do this on your house. And I was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> Um, Rogue Thunder, you can read right here. It says in nice big letters what is happening. Um, so, you know. <laughs> I didn't play, uh, yeah, I didn't play any of the Happy Home Designer stuff. But I'm excited for, like, the wall partitions and, like, the pillars and stuff. 
I'm excited. I really thought that it was going to be not very substantial. So pretty much pretty much I'm exactly what I wanted. Hello. Money now. He's going to make all the money now. Okay. Well, I'm stoked about Animal Crossing. Did I miss any anything else? It looked like they may have been like adding some villagers. We saw a villager that we weren't sure that we'd seen before. The new island, like the island that you build for residents seems, I don't know if I'm going to be there or not. We'll see. The features, I'll play it for the, get the home building features like the wall partition and stuff, but I'm not sure I'm going to build a second island. We'll just have to see. Yo, I Yo, wake foo you. Thank you for the 13 months. Hi, Ian. Been having a rough few days, so I'm happy to see a stream. Uh, 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 Luna Incarnate. Sorry. Thank you for the eight months. Sophie Francine. Thank you for the prime sub. Eden Envy. Thank you for the 17 months. Moose Stream is the best part of this day. Business related matters. Uh, email me at ian at brutalmoose.com. That's where I would, I, I will say that I'm not great at email, but that would be the place that you would do it. The one place that you would do business related uh, matters. The other game you had to play it to unlock more. Ba uh, yeah, that's kind of what I, I assume. You're going to have to play some of the DLC to unlock the ability to do the stuff on the main island, which I'm fine with. Maybe it'll hook me on the, you know, on the new features or, or the new island thing. Michi Peach, thank you for subscribing. Thor Obliterator, thank you for the 28 months. Toot Fart, a happy Toot Fart to you as well. Brain Deodorizer, thank you for the four months. My friends and I found a mystery VHS in a rental on vacation. Unfortunately, it contained adult videos and not funny retro content. Everyone always asks me if I found one of those. I love that it's your, your first mystery VHS and it's porn. I, I still haven't found any. I'm uh, just slightly jealous. I don't, I don't really want to see it, but I feel like I should find something like that just to say that I have, you know? Very fragile disaster. Thank you for the two months. Sam Dub One, thank you for the 17 months. Peachy Rose, thank you for the 33 months. Allison Wonderkind, thank you for subscribing. Orbital Owl, thank you for the 15 months. Miss you, Moose, glad to be here for the piping hot Animal Crossing takes. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. I was ready to to complain. I even set myself up for complaining. I was like, keeping my expectations low, you know, that kind of thing. I have heard about the cast of the Mario movie. It's, uh, you know, that's Hollywood for you. KD07, thank you for the prime sub. Pizza Skeleton, thanks for the 17 months. I'm here to give and receive chill vibes. Are you feeling it? Thanks for the content either way. I am. I feel pretty chill right now. Mm -hmm. Toxic Cup of Joey, thank you for the two months. How to f has it been two months already? Sorcery. Tracy Bluth, rip, thank you for the nine months, especially since you bought merchandise. Ely Dag, thank you for subscribing. Scrumbles, thanks for the two months. MX Wolf, thank you so much for the $20. Three streams in one week? Noise. I'm behind on the VODs, but they will be a welcome binge on my first day off in 15 or so days. Jeez. I've seriously lost count. Keep being awesome, and here's some of that overtime cash I'm, I've accumulated. Thanks so much, Amex. I hope that your overtime uh, chills out soon. I guess unless you want 15 days without a day off, but I have a feeling that's that's not your uh, your plan here. Thank you very much, Amex. Dr. Firepants, thank you for the $5. Ace Dormouse, thank you for the 25 months. The Lazy Spud, thanks for the 37 months. It's Otter Espresso, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. I feel like you just did that the other day, too. Thank you very, very much. And uh, Tabby Gfkerself. Oh. Tabby Gfkerself. <laughs> this is probably how it's pronounced. Thank you for subscribing. 
Okay. Okay. Mm, what a hamburger. Are you ready to unbox a PJ Sam game? I really need to get some background music for these types of situations. I'm just not set up for that quite yet. So I've got... I don't even have the first game in a, in a big box. It is open. It's been open. But uh, I figured I would show it off anyway because it's got some fun goodies. Big old box. I have uh, PJ Sam 1, but it's in the like the box, the short fat box. I don't know what it's called. Ribbons89, thank you for the 15 months. Thanks for all the fun streams. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, we got the game. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, installation is not going to take long. So I'll, I'll go through what else is in the box real quick. We got some stickers. These guys are pretty cool. You got, it's it's not just PJ Sam, but you got some of the Freddy Luther, Spy Fox, and then some questionable choices. I don't know why we're including the fish uncle. I, this is the guy that was in prison on that, the Freddy Fish game, right? We played, if, if you're not familiar, we played through all of the Freddy Fish games. Uh, you can find those on the VOD channel. It wasn't that long ago. What else we got in here? Oh, I should leave that out so I don't pull it out again. Mm, what a hamburger. Blue's Clues jumps to the computer. Where are my PJs? I didn't put them on. They're actually in this closet over here. I considered it, but I didn't do it because I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Thank you for applauding my laziness. Yes, there is a VOD channel, youtube.com slash moose2, or you could go to brutalmoose.tv where I've made a stream guide and you can browse all the streams by game. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. This is just a, pri it's almost like a scholastic entertainment. My audio is desynced. My video is lagging behind. Oh, wow. My video is lagging behind. That means my mic needs to be delayed even more? That can't be right. Oh, wow. What, what is it? I'm a, if, it's, if it's mostly okay, very slightly is fine. If it's fine, it's fine. It's pretty cool. Just a bunch of stuff. Backyard baseball. We never did the backyard sports games. People asked for those. I just never played them that much. Big thinkers. I think we played one of the big thinkers games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is just another, just more ads for the games we already saw. Uh, enters the race. Oh, it's it's coming soon. Coming January 99. Coming fall 98. Oh, sick. Uh, this is like a, co a comic book, a Pajama Man comic book. Oh my god, it's actually, it actually is a Pajama Man comic book. I think the other side, I think you can flip it over and it's the manual. But it's like a full... <laughs> that is so cool. I wonder if it's black and white to encourage coloring. And then you have this side over here. Oh yeah, okay. It's a uh, it's a hand, it's like a coloring book kind of workbook. It's not a guide. Mm 
I always go live when you're about to do stuff. Am I watching your house? I am, Stabler. You never know you never know what I'm watching. That's really cool. I don't know if they did this for the first game, but I would love it. Do I like your Halloween decoration? No. <laughs> no, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Drowning in projects. Thank you for the eight months. Happy Friday. Your last video reminded me of Be Cool About Fire Safety. Ever seen that? Thanks for all the streams and vids. Um, I think Red Letter Media talked about that one. If they've talked about it, I've probably seen it. Ashura, thank you for the six months. Happy six months, Ian. Happy six months, Ashura. Thank you for the bits, Speedpunk1996. And Cherry Thick, thank you for the 12 months. Happy Halloween, Ian and MJ. Thanks very much. I will uh, I will relay that to her when I'm done. She doesn't really like to come in here uh, when I stream, unfortunately. She doesn't really like to come in here at all. <laughs> I stoked when Red Letter Media covered Dream Bunny. Um, I was more stoked that uh, I had already done it. Because, uh, you know, a number of times I'll get a tape and I'll be like, man, I really want to cover this. And then you see it pop up on their channel. And it's like, ah, ah, I got to wait now. Oh, I don't even have to install. I guess I don't know why I expected to have to install. Jasmine879, thank you for the 26 months. Finally, I have made it for a stream. Been having a rough week to huh. need something to cheer me up. Glad you made it, Jasmine. I hope this cheers you up. Stapler Cake, thank you for the 24 months. Two more years. Two more years. Here I am in my little box. We could maybe check out the demos later. I wanted to watch it installed. Me too, kind of. Whoops. I'm squishing and squashing my box over here. Okay. Without further ado, let's um, Pajama Sam 2. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's not register. Should I, should I change that real quick? <laughs> um, oh, that's not where I want to go. I'm just going to see, let's just see if it works with all these colors. I think it should be fine. I think it would be a problem if we had less color selected, but surely it's, surely it's fine. Hold it right there, Earthquaker. Stop that evil doing. Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me. Take that, Captain Jellicoe. And your lunch boxes are no match for the foul weatherman. Now we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it we shall control the world. Not so fast, Dust Devil. Pajama Man. What was that sound effect? I lost you to the four corners of the earth, do gooder. My handy dandy Pajama Man superpower back says different. Pajama Man, you say. Exactly! Alright! <laughs> it's okay. It's just a 
a little under lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening, but I'm scared. Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about oh, this weather. Wow. This looks like a job for... Pajama Sam! I know I left my Pajama Sam cape around here somewhere. I better find it. I feel like... I feel like uh, Pajama Sam and Gerbert could have had, you know, could have had a crossover. I really gotta find my Pajama Sam cape so I can go I up really and really gotta find my Pajama it. Sam cape. Milk Soda, thank you for the 40 months. Uh, Salty Nutsack Bro, thank you for the Prime sub. Lizard Lord Sunny, thank you for the Prime sub. S. Con Pez, thank you for the two months. Boogie Elephant, thank you for the eight months. Hey, Mouse, so happy to catch the stream live. Been so busy with my new job. Your streams and videos helped me while I was jobless and depressed. Onwards and upwards. Thank you very much, Boogie. And Unobert, thank you for the 31 months. Happy spooky month, Ian. It's great to see you streaming again. I'm happy to be back. Okay, you guys can hear that music, right? I've got to be on the lookout for pieces to my puzzle. Puppet Sam or Cartoon Gerbert? I think it should be like Cartoon Sam like this and then FMV Gerbert. I've got to be on the lookout for pieces. Aha! <laughs> No, I I can't say that I have my Pajama thumb Sam on the pulse of Blue's ready. Clues news. <laughs> now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. I better get upstairs and do something about this. Oh yeah, this is this is Bobby. This is uh what is her name? Pamela Alden. Pamela. Uh, um, is that right? It's gotta be close. <laughs> But she voices, uh, she voices Sam up until I think the last game. No, wait. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Chill, Sam. Chill, Sam. It's gonna be fun. Pamela Adlin? Alden. Alden. Oh my god. That's <laughs> me when I was little. It's Chubby Sam. <laughs> Boss lady, thank you for the ten months. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about the, the food game, actually. The next game? All right, that's enough. Pajama Sam is going to put a stop to this thunderstorming once and for all. Wow. Love that. So this is where all the weather comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. Yeah, you know, the uh, the next game might actually be better for the Halloween theme. Because um, I remember this one being really bright. One of my, I think, few complaints with it is that it's just so bright. And I kind of see PJ Sam as a dark environment game. 
watch out, thunder and lightning. Smugzilla. Thanks for subscribing. Hi. What do you want? I'd like to go inside, please. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. I could be an employee if you would hire me. This will come in handy for the cake. I think I've only played this one through once or twice. I think that I played it for a video and then I maybe streamed it. Sorry, I thought I, sorry, I, thought I clicked down this path. Not for long. Supposed to keep an eye out for puzzle pieces. I think that's this game's uh, sock. Oh. Are there tunnels in this game? I sure hope not. Put the crowbar. Yeah, let's ship the crowbar. Huh. I see one. <laughs> I went over hey, to get it. I should pick those up. Oh, this is kind of more fun than doing the socks, honestly. Stop moving at you. I'm gonna attack, attack Worldwide the chat. Worldwide weather employee identification card. Lost or boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. Roderick HD, thank you for the prime sub. And Narina, thank you very much for the 24 months. I think this section is a little not bright because it's inside, but this might be the only area that's not. Just, uh... Aggressively bright. That's where they keep the hail. My stream harvester? I don't have harvester. I wish I had a sandwich. We are gonna do a, uh... Vote for Welcome the next worldwide game. Weather, sir. Thank you. At the end of this stream, I'll, I'll talk about that. Simply Jarvis, thank you for the two months. <laughs> okay. If there is anything you need to ride through the mine, what? Take you. Please One at a time. Know. One at a time. I found one! Harvester is on Steam. I, I'm not set up to play Steam. I'm set up to play old computer. <laughs> yeah, Green Mountain. We actually talked about the Animal Crossing announcement at the beginning of the stream. Uh, pretty stoked. Let's go... Yeah, I'd have to order it. I forgot that the chair was a person. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I've come to put a stop to all this thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning? They'd be in the master control room. It's back to the pain. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Here's one. Floppy or else. I could play it on floppy. I've got a floppy drive. <laughs> 
that looks important. <laughs> that, uh... No, 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 Sam. No. Try again. How about the oddly out of place crank? Hey, I don't think this belongs here. I'd better hang on to it until I can figure out where it goes. Oh, it is Otto. Good eye. I'm doing it. I'm floating. <laughs> I'm floating. Is that all he says? Oh, no, there he goes. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Oh my god, it's just like our, <laughs> our, our brief memories of Otto. Can I go up here? Do you have an appointment, sir? No. Yes? I can't let you back there without an appointment. It is kind of like Harry Potter painting. Otto just lives in the painting. Hello again, sir. Welcome to the World Wide Weather Automated Response System. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. For our hours of... It's some kind of lock. I don't mean to intrude, but perhaps I might offer a suggestion. Yeah. Okay. That is a security door. Regrettable, yeah. I know, but we have to keep... Oh, am I allowed to use my ID card for ...the less savory elements of society from wandering into the master control room and messing about. Savory? I no don't mean spoken. you, of course, yeah. but yeah. you will need an ID card if you want to go I in have there. one. Oh, I have one. Oh, thanks. You're quite welcome. At least he asked first. He asked before giving hints. And I did say yes. Uh-oh, I think it ate the card. I hope it wasn't too important. Dear, it's just a little boy. I'm Pajama Sam. I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh yes, I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, well, actually, I do enjoy a good storm, and it will be so helpful for the plants and things. I never. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, oh no. no! Not the red button. button. Engaging primary safety mechanism. Shifting power to backup generators. <laughs> Adjusting horizontal hold. I love that Seattle that hold it gets for now. featured. Damage report. And it's just sunny and nice. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to take everything we've got. Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Doomed! Yeah. Quiet! All right. As a matter of fact, there is something you can do. Lightning I don't like and I lightning. have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Oh, hey, will I have a sticker that? of one of those guys, I think. Never fear, ma'am. Pajama Sam always helps people in need. Why do they have that button? Well, it's so, you know, it's so Sam can uh, fall on it. Boink. Okay, I'm not happy with where my camera is placed. Boink. Boink. 
Carl Rock 132, thanks for the seven for months. Appointment style. Five, one, four. Okay. Hey Moose, glad to see you streaming again. Thanks so much, Cole Rock. It said 514, right? Let's go, uh. Let's go hit up the phone. Hello again, sir. Welcome to the World Wide. Worldwide weather, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see someone. Certainly, let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Someone is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. What is your name? I'm Pajama Sam. I'm Very helping... good, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone will see you just as soon as you arrive. Goodbye. Well, that was fast. Should play Zoom Beanies. I definitely streamed Zoom. I don't think it got saved, but I definitely streamed Zoom Beanies in my uh, Zoom Beanie costume <laughs> after the video, after I posted the video or something. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm helping. Oh, yes, here it is. Go right on in, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone is ready for you. Thanks. Ooh, I love this room. It's occupied. I don't see a puzzle. Scanning for. Oh, there's one. Ah. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Who sent you? I'm working very hard. You'd be amazed what a difficult job it is being in charge of, 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 of all, all the supplies. I'm sure it is. George, someone sent you over here to, 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 to check up on me, didn't he? He thought you'd catch me not doing my job so he can get that, that big this guy promotion, did it. right? No, nobody. I don't know what it is, but he did it. Nobody? Uh huh. Really? Really? Well, <laughs> that's a relief. Here's another one. Uh, that puzzle piece is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> Good old pajama Boy man. Of the month. Can I have one of these? <laughs> Absolutely. Take it. Thanks. It's for the that children, all right? <laughs> Well, can, can you keep a secret? Sure. I accidentally ordered a thousand of those when I was only supposed to get a dozen. Whoops. I'm trying to get rid of them Ooh, before the anyone notices. Piece. Take a few there more. Thanks, but I think I really only want one. Oh, all right. Okay, anything else look important in here? Paper? No, the paper is going to be recycled. Can I have a number two pencil? No, I have to keep those in case I have to take a test. Can I have a highlighter pen? No, those are on double secret reserve. What are those? Oh, those are old typewriter ribbons. Can I have it? Okay. Oh, did the lava lamp change? I didn't even notice. Next door. Ah, you must be Pajama Sam. Uh-huh. I'm George Someone, the personnel manager. Glad to see you could get here so quickly. No problem. Yo, why am I here? I just kind of came here. You look <laughs> like you're thinking about something. You're right. I'm trying to figure out what keeps clouds up in the air. Okay. What do you keep in the file cabinet? Huh? Files, mostly. Not very interesting stuff, I'm afraid. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
It's blank. I must be non-photo blue. Okay. Why did I... Okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Actually, Baltimore is one of my favorite cities. Okay, Baltimore is one of his... Hey, <laughs> aren't you the city. Y pipe? Yes, why do you ask? I thought so. I've been looking for you. You have? Why? I'm looking for all the important pieces to the weather machine. Squint? Really? Why? So I can put you all back and fix the machines. Why would you want to do that? Because all the weather everywhere is going crazy, and thunder and lightning are in trouble, and, and it's sort of my fault. What did you do to cause all of that? Never mind that now. It's not important. You've got to come with me. I'd love to, but I can't get out of this vending machine by myself. Think you could help me out? Pajama Sam never abandons someone who needs help. Thanks, that's good to know. Are... Are Y-pipes, like... Are they cool with being Y-pipes? Like, do they... Or do they just want to fulfill their purpose? Is that how all these, uh... Inanimate... Living inanimate objects work? <laughs> Like the trash can just really wants to to be a trash can, <laughs> like accept trash. Oh, sick. Havarti. Tell me more about your can opener. <laughs> okay, last door. It opens cans. Halford? I beg your pardon? Never mind. We were expecting someone else. Just dust around the picture frames for now. You can vacuum later when we've finished. Dust? But I... Perhaps we should try to come up with more questions for the employee quiz while we wait for Mr. Haffer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about this? Who played the monster in the original movie version of Frankenstein? That's not a very business-like question, is it? No, I suppose not. Do you vacuum a marble floor? Another one! Cybernator 2, thank you for subscribernating. Excuse me, how come you have a hat in the middle of the table? Oh, we are putting our questions in it. Questions? We're making a quiz to give people when we interview them for jobs. Say, you look pretty typical. How'd you like to help us test the questions? What do I have to do? Just pick questions out of the hat and see if you can answer them. That sounds easy enough. Go ahead and choose a question. What is unemployment? Uh, when people don't have jobs, when you fire people to make the company smaller, it's money that you get when you don't have a job. It's like a skin rash. Uh, let's go with C. It's money that you get when you don't have a job. Yes, it certainly is. Could it also be A? All right, we got it. Try another one. Okay. I'm ready to do go I, ahead Do I win now. the board meeting all right, if go I answer all of these questions. questions? Name a sport people do in the snow. I mean, is sunbathing a sport? Sunbathing. This is tough. 
This is, this one's a thinker. Snowboarding. Yes, snowboarding obviously requires some <laughs> snow. Good going. Try another one. You could okay. technically ski, you know, like water ski. Go ahead and choose a question. What is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics? <laughs> like nobody knows. Nobody knows. The second letter. The second letter. Yeah. The second letter. Yes, all right. We'll give that one to you. Way to go! Try another one. Okay. Go ahead and... What is the smallest coin used in the United States of America? Are we talking size or are we talking... The penny. Cost. The dime. Well, yes. Actually, I suppose technically the dime is the smallest. Technically right is well, a I think fun we've got way a pretty right. good start on our quiz. <laughs> Thank you very much, young man. You're welcome. Now, on to new business. We have to talk about a color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. Are there any suggestions? And a good day to you as well. Yes. Trees only. And a good day to you. How about well. candy apple red? Maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. I don't like this guy. Robin's this guy. egg blue? I guess you're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board, yes. The I chairman thought perhaps of a nice the board. golden rod. Yes, trees only was a callback. That was the one of the snooty uh, trees that you had. You have to like put the trunk on your head to get by. Okay, let's go look. We need money to get the Y pipe. Is that all I'm looking Hello for Hello again, now? sir. Hello. I need like an umbrella or a way to turn off the ice in that one room. Hey, is that a donut? Yes, it's a donut. No, you can't have it. I remember getting lost in this overworld a little bit, but maybe since I've played it a couple times, uh, maybe I'll be able to. <laughs> we'll see. Another one. Maybe too many sound effects. I don't know. Yeah, what have you guys been playing lately? I have been playing Pajama Sam 2. Anybody playing anything else? Hey, I found one! I, I recently played, we played the first Pajama Sam. I can't remember the last time. I looked, I'm not sure that I have a stream of this one archived. So which is why I decided to do the second one. Delta Room, Nancy Drew, Rimworld, Ooh, The Sims. I thought I was gonna get back in The Sims recently until I watched the uh, the Animal Crossing update. I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just wait for Animal Crossing. <laughs> Coin game, good choice. Bottles of rain. 
answer are... How's the Hot Wheels game? I actually watched a couple trailers. I'm very tempted by the Hot Wheels game, but I have not... I have not made the jump. Locust Plague, thank you for the two months. There's one. Shitty mic to match the VHS. I could try that someday. I just feel like audio is really important. <laughs> It's good. Hot Wheels game actually kind of lit. That's good, right? Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Hi, Snowflake Inspector. Well, this guy You're needs the sun, automated right? Snowflake Inspector? No, Inspector Detector. Call me, Sid. It's shorter. You look awfully tired. I'm feeling a bit run down. I need something to eat. Okay. Yeah, great, great ace detective. I got to the case, like the second case, and I, I ended up getting distracted by somebody. That's kind of, I kind of agree, Cheesy Poof. I think you want nice audio. I think lower visual fidelity is forgivable, but bad audio, bad audio can be uh, hard to listen to. Here's one. Badio, ba Badio. <laughs> This is the one I can't get out, right? Yeah. I gotta turn off the wind machine. Oh, that's a strong wind. Oh. Awesome. I'm trying. I definitely want to try and get all the puzzle pieces. I want to make. I want to complete the puzzle. Yeah, you know, I mentioned Big Thinkers when we were uh, starting the stream today. I feel like we. I played it on stream very briefly, but I think it was an old stream that was uh, pre-archive. It looks like there's a piece missing there. I would definitely play the other Goosebumps games, especially if they're FMV like that. I really enjoyed. I mean, the trash tunnels were, you know, it's some big fan. You know, but they, they weren't that bad compared to some other things, and they also weren't something that I had to do. I just didn't know that. Can I not rotate this guy? Oh, I just walked. Boy, I can't see a thing over here. They won't have Jeff Goldblum. Well, Jeff Goldblum, I mean, I, I love Jeff, but I couldn't understand a word he said. I don't know what he said. I don't really even know. I like that he was there, but... Uh, could have given him some more to do or, or some lines that I could it's actually understand. Anything. Yeah, we're going to play Nancy Drew. Um, we'll probably play some this month. I'm not planning on it being the next game, so it's not on the vote. I feel like if I put Nancy Drew on the what game should I stream next list, that's just gonna win. So, um... We're gonna play something else first, but we, we're definitely gonna play some, we're gonna play some more Drew. Yeah, we gotta space the 32 Nancy games out. I can't see anything through all this fog. I just, I don't want to get burned out on the franchise, you know? And I also don't want that to be all that I'm doing. That big doing. funnel bottles the wind from that fan up there. I already feel lost. Oh, 
I vaguely remember this room. Pasta Boy 17, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, he wants sun, though, right? Um, I'm not sure about um, Ill Bleed, if I'm going to play more of that or not. Currently, no brutal foods on the way. No, I'm taking a little brutal foods uh, break. Oh, what's this? They'll be after me gold. I I am after your gold. It's true. Though I will say, just because I'm done like taking a brutal foods break on the YouTube doesn't mean there might not be. You know, you never know. You never know what might find its way on on the stream. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go get the Y pipe. Master Doofus, thank you for the 13 months. Yay, 12 months. Mm, what a hamburger. Love your stuff, Moose. You keep being you. Thank you very much. And, uh, Hydrangeas. Thank you for the three months. Love ya. Love ya too. Are we gonna build another ginger? You know, since you asked. Since you asked. This is something we're gonna do this month. Mm, what I have. I have a. Uh, I have a haunted house. Ginger cookie. I don't know if it's a cookie. Chocolate cookie kit. Um, and I was going to point this out before I actually did the stream anyway. Because I picked it up at uh, at Trader Joe's. So if on the off chance you would like to do it at the same time, swing by a Trader Joe's, I suppose. We'll do that closer to Queen. So it's our man. I know that MJ's on the box. Can you see her in the little pumpkin? They put her on the box. I was like, well, I gotta get it. Is it pumpkin spice? I don't think so. I don't think it's, it's kosher. Uh, that's, you know, that's something. Sharblin, thank you for the five months. Going to the Y. Booze Cannon, thank you for the 24 months. Hello again, sir. Hi. Uh, 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 uh. Top five favorite Halloween movies. I don't know that I have five of those. I I'm, a, I'm a Hocus Pocus fan. I, I I like Hocus Pocus. Good day, Mr. Sam. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like I think more of like Halloween TV specials. I can't think of a bunch of Halloween movies that I'm like eager eager to watch. We've been watching like some horror stuff, just general horror. FT Falcons, thank you for the prime sub. And Andy Weekend, thank you for the 20 months. Big Truo, obligatory shout out to my wife, Kelly, again. Kelly! Also, I guess my cat, uh, the best little boy, Frankie. Frankie! 
Keep up the great work. Thanks for being so cool. It's always nice to catch your streams live. Hey, Thanks very much, Andy. How did you manage to get in there in the first place? It's kind of an embarrassing story. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Well, don't. Okay. You like horror games more than horror movies? I, you know, I never really got into Say, scary Sam, stuff. Sam, are you gonna get me out of here? Uh, yeah, until later. I'm working on and even a then, it's like, eh, you know. I think my sister used to really like Coraline. Ow! That doesn't look very comfortable. It isn't. Please insert more coins. I haven't got any more coins. Oh, great. <clears throat> just, just hit it. Are you sure you don't have any more coins? Yes. Sorry. I'll think of just something. reach up there and get it, dude. You know, it's funny how things get stuck in vending machines sometimes. It's not <laughs> as funny on the inside. Excuse me. Um, could I just crowbar it? I don't think I should Thank do you, that. Everybody. I might break it. That's the list of the parts I have to find. Crank. Mm. Could I just go get more coins? I don't think we can headbutt. I mean, I clicked on it. I don't know what else. Uh... There's someone in here. I used the crowbar. Go wander around some more until we find... Uh... Ooh, could I use... Something like this? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just uh, let's just keep on moving. Hello again, sir. Can't get into that other room just yet. I guess it's just, I was like, which building do I want to go in? It's not, uh, not relevant yet. Thanks, crad babes. Yeah, I had to, uh, I actually, when I, when I put up my website, I had to divide my main Brutal Moose videos into seasons or whatever. So I had to, like, go back and, and define the eras of my YouTube channel. That was pretty interesting. I actually had a friend of mine, I was like, I had him do his own, like, break up my videos in a way, without telling him my list, and they lined up pretty well, so... That's kind of cool. We decided last stream that I, I've been, I'm nearing my 10 years, which is still just... This isn't gonna work, but... Nope, it sure didn't. I mean, a tornado could work. Oh, I have to put the thing in. I thought I just hit go. The short Hera. The short Hera era. watching old streams and seeing random comments you made three plus years ago. Yeah, see, that's part of the reason I like keeping the stream, like the chat, on the side so it sticks around. A tornado could work.
That's a Halloween. Archaeologists in the future. You know, who really knows, though? You know there's going to be a, a point in time where, like, going back and digging through, you know, really old YouTube channels or something is going to be a, a trend at some point. That's kind of scary to think about, honestly. <laughs> uh, rebooting of YouTube channels. Hi, <laughs> I'm Pajama oh, Sam. Wow. How do you do? I'm Jay Langston the third. You may call me Langston. Okay, Langston. You can call me Sam. What's in this big book you've got? <gasps> Just snowflakes. That's a lot of snowflakes. Everyone ever made, actually. It's not a very exciting read. Okay. Ooh. You can make your own, uh... This is probably my favorite track in this game. Pretty badass. That's like oh, Halloween, wow. right? Wow. Free Zero, thank you for the seven months. Midterms are plaguing me yet again. Glad you're here to keep me going. Hey, good luck on your midterms, Safri, and anyone else who's midterming. The Chess 53, thank you for the 11 months. I'll have you know, Ian, I like cooked fruit, and I don't think I'm a real toot. Thank you very much. Think of my channel when you hear Christmassy jazz. <laughs> I'm with you there, Crad Babes. It's gonna be interesting to see what uh, digital archaeologists do. Another one. My question is, how do I keep how do I keep my website online after I die? Do I have to like pay in advance for that shit? <laughs> Put it on archive. I want it to be live, though. That looks like some kind of solar collector. It looks like there should be something holding these together. Okay. Well, solar collector. That's what the uh, the guy needs. Oh. Will a trust to continue pay hosting? Or could I do that? Could I just put it in my will? Uh, that would be hilarious. If you can do There's stuff like that, one. I'm going to have a hilarious will. I'm going to leave all kinds of instructions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, though, I'm not going to have kids, so who's going to, who's even going to read it? <laughs> I'll just leave my will to, like, a random viewer. Uh, liquid you know? sunshine. Ingredients. Sun. Use That's true. Caution. MJ is gonna outlive me, but I don't think that she. I would not trust MJ with my money. Wrap <laughs> off my will. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys stick around for when I'm 80 or 90. You know, we'll, we'll start making these a reality. Uh, where was that guy? Was it this way? Ninety-year-old and still streaming. You know I will be. 
If I'm still here, I'm gonna be doing something. Snowflake the stream inspector is Ian detective. reading the Does will. Does that mean that you're related to the snowflake inspector? <laughs> Not oh exactly. Oh my god. I'm the one who finds him when he runs away. How come you're not looking for him right now? Too tired. Need a little power. I'm gonna have to like, when I hit, you know, like 70, 80, I'm gonna have to start just accepting hints and spoilers because um, it's hard enough for me to like retain everything that's happening now but once I get older it's gonna be like what am I doing what am I playing who is who is this blue guy <laughs> here I brought you some fun can't oh, open yeah, it use the can opener chat like I might yell at kids to get off your lawn. I already do that. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game there. How do I get out of here? Imagine in 10 to 20 years of streaming video games as a thing uh, only older adults do. That would be interesting. I, I have a feeling as long as there's uh, you know, I think people I don't know. It, the people can move on. There's always going to be new games, though, is the thing. So there's always new... For people that do, like, current age stuff, there's always something new to play. If I have dementia, every game will seem brand new. It's true. I could do a fresh playthrough of Myst every day. Oh, yeah, streaming's still hot. Everyone's going to stream now. I, I would wonder if... Um, see, you wonder if more like IRL stuff will take over, but the thing about playing games is that it gives you something to talk about. It just, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know that I see that going away as long as streaming is still going on. Hello again, sir. Much like how Let's Play format evolved into modern streaming, yeah. We'll just have to see. I agree that it would be like a next phase rather than a going away thing. VR virtual stuff will take over. We'll see. See, that's good for me. The more the more we go in the future, the more me being stuck here in the past, uh, day, Mr. you know, Sam. I think is appealing. Future retro streams will be interesting considering how many games won't work at all without their DRM. Oh yeah, that's true. It's weird because like games are constantly updated now too, so it's hard to go back. I feel like it could be hard to go back to original. And people like patch out all their bugs and, and funny, fun stuff that I kind of make games fun for me. Okay. Don't look at me, Y pipe. Is that a giant gourd you're drinking? Yes. This is my giant uh, gourd. At one point, will you have to change your name to Boomer Moose? Well, I'm never going to be a Boomer. That's not how that works. It's just that Millennial uh, is going to sound even older and older over time. You just got to wait for Millennial to be the next Boomer. We had the same water bottle? Awesome. I love this thing. I had the smaller version, and then uh, there wasn't enough water. Thought of playing heavy choice games like Detroit Become Human or Beyond Two Souls. You know, I think that, uh, what's the other one? The, uh, the, spoo uh, the slasher one. It was um, Until Dawn. Until Dawn would be, could be fun. But, uh, I don't know. Hello again, sir. Right now, I will say that my, my current, my current plan is to stick with stuff that, uh, works with my retro setup here, just because that's, uh, that's what I'm into right now, but you never know.
Yeah, I gotta find the retro spooky. I'll, I'm gonna go through at the end of this stream. We're gonna I'm gonna go through the choices for the next game and let you guys know how to vote for that. Uh, why pipe was this way? I don't even. What is the Dark Pictures Chronicles? I don't. I'm not familiar with that one. This one's good too. This is a good song. Nope. Did I just come from here? See, I'm like confused now. I'm lost. I don't know where. Uh... Phantasmagoria, I've watched a little bit of. That's how that it works. Spot. Yeah. You look much better. Well, I've got to go and find Flaky. I mean, the inspector. He needs me. I'm looking for him too. Maybe we could look together. I can do the detecting if you'll carry me with you. Okay. Okay. I will say that I think. I think that we're probably set on spooky games for this month. Just because of the, you know, I, I already know how many days we got six streams left, maybe seven if I get uh, really crazy. So I think we're probably set on spooky stuff, at least for this month, but we can play spooky stuff in other months. We're getting really... Huh? We're getting really close to finding the inspector. <laughs> He's in this room. Move me around until we find him. room oh. <laughs> Flaky or I mean inspector it's nice to see you hello Sid this is pajama Sam he helped me find you. Hi. Delighted. Well, I'm sure glad we found you. You've got to come back to the snow machine with us right away. No way. No way. I'm not going back there. They don't appreciate me. This could be a problem. Don't worry. I'll think of something. What do you want? Inspector, oh, he wants the ribbon. I already have the ribbon. Us. The weather is all messed up. I don't care. I'm not working for those oafs anymore. They don't appreciate the effort I make. Sour grapes. Thank you for the 20 months. Happy spooky month, Ian. What's the weirdest thing you were scared of as a kid? For me, it was the weird PS1 demo menus. I, I, always, I always mention this, but I just think I can't get over it. Don Knotts, the ghost of Mr. Chicken, a comedy movie. Starring Don Knotts. Used to used to freak me out. <laughs> used to scare me. I should do a I should do a review of that movie someday, just to actually talk about it. That might not be a bad idea for next year. It used to freak you out too? Okay, good. I'm not alone. of the month. <laughs> they like me. They really like me. They sure do. I'm so 
happy. I can't wait to get back to my post and all those wonderful snowflakes. I'll take you there if you like. Would you? Gee, Sam, that would be great. I like that you Sam teaches us like very happy. Thank you. you know, You're welcome. Will the you appropriate be time to, to lie. <laughs> You'll go on ahead. I'll catch up. Yeah, it's fine. Just just lie to him and it makes him feel better. Yeah, because <laughs> Sam can lie. He's gonna go show that to somebody, be like, hey, did you see that I got my employee of the month award? And people are gonna be like, uh, that's not a thing. I remember being really afraid of signs. I never watched it. I remember my sister had a bunch of friends over and uh, they were watching and I was in the room for like the very first little jump scare. I think it's the one where they're, it's like the home video footage and the alien just like walks across the room. And I was like, nope, no, nah. But I didn't do like I like I said I didn't do a bunch of scary stuff. I I startled easily. Uh Thank you, Sleepy. I uh just not not something I really got into as a kid. I was just I was just so afraid. Signs is a genuine it always signs seemed interesting. I just, I just, uh, you know. Is this where he goes? Ooh, you know, Courage, I didn't watch a bunch of Courage, but Courage was pretty creepy. There were definitely some Courage episodes I remember being like, well, oh, I don't know. Here we are, Inspector. <coughs> Inspector, are you uh, coming back to work? Oh, yes. Then I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> and I, you. Now stand aside and let me do my job. With pleasure. I don't know how you did it, but you have my heartfelt gratitude. Sam? Yeah. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. You fixed the snow machine. No yes, shit. Yes, I did. I mean, yes, That's I did. So great. Yes, according to our weather monitors, things are already looking a little better. We wanted to tell you you were doing a good job. Oh, thanks. I'm happy to help. That's good, because there are still three more machines to be fixed. There's plenty to do here as well. I'll take care of those other machines right away. Very good. Bye now. You know, uh... Do they see us all the time? Do I look all right? How's my tie? You're fine. Man. Missed the, um... Some of the mist doing, scenes Inspector? freaked me out. Some of the F and V mist stuff work. is still kind of really creepy. Do. I remember specifically you go into a you go into a room in in a, I think it's Channelwood, and a, an F and V like hologram face pops up, and I was just oh my god. Yeah, the red red pages blue pages videos are also pretty creepy. Okay. What do I have in my inventory here? I've got a crank, I've got a crowbar. Oh! Okay, I bet I could use the crank in the wind room. Uh, uh, maybe. I'm gonna try to use the crank in the wind room. The intro to Thief. Oh, I was just talking about Thief. I have Thief Gold. I've never played it before, but I would really love to play it at some point. Music puzzle and mist drove you insane. Music puzzles were so hard because um, 
you know, it's like li it's literally a uh, a different language. So you have to either you they're either so basic that they're not even a challenge for me, or they're so complex that other people are like, I can't do this. They're tough. Music music puzzles are, seem tough to make. Like it's tough to make one that is fair for everybody. Persian Air, thank you for the five months. And Mo Chicken. Thanks for gifting those 10 subs, Mo. It's very generous of you. Oh, you got paid today. You gotta listen to NSYNC. Anytime you get paid on Friday, you gotta listen to Friday Night Just Got Paid. Nightmare House 2. I don't I don't have Nightmare House 2. Okay. Do I use the crank on this one? I'm pretty sure that won't oh, work. Oh wow. Oh wow. We turned to Zork. I didn't even go to Zork the first time. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd find where this went if I looked hard enough. Oh wow. Hey, this thing turns. Oh, I see that. Okay, I didn't realize that it played an alert for everyone uh, who got a gift. So. Yeah, uh, tell me about Zork. Mm, what I, I don't, uh, I don't really know about Zork. Finally. Fabulous puns, Tim Curry, FMV. Here's another one. You know, I never played text adventures. I know that's probably shocking. Oh boy, a hard hat. It works great. Ooh, seventh guest would be awesome to play, actually. Seventh guest would have been great for this one. I just don't. I don't. I don't think that I own it. And maybe it's in my giant binder of stuff. Am I tickling the lockers? What? Uh, mm. Okay, I think I just needed the hard hat. I think that's probably why I was here. Um, we had some computer games I'm gonna at school, make but all not the like this. Money now. The computer games at school were all educational. It was like educational and kid picks, which you could argue is also educational. Kagami Hiragi. Thank you very much for the $20. Thanks for the hours and hours of entertainment, Moose. My wife and I can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you very much, Kagami and wife. Thank you, thank you so very much. I hope that uh, whatever comes next is you know, good. <laughs> Hopefully it should be. I think it should be good. I'm actually feeling like I'm in a really good, I'm in a good space right now for, for making stuff. I'm feeling, I'm feeling energized. It really helps, streaming has already helped uh, 
just having having to make time for this and and uh, it's made me work harder when I'm not streaming. Mystery tapes, yes. Um, Hello again, sir. I would pick it up if I didn't have crap all over it. But on my last stream, I actually showed off the giant, I think it was the last stream, uh, the giant box of VHS tapes that I recently ordered. So I've got a lot to look through. Mm, the case has like over, over 60, so <laughs> I really hope that they... <laughs> That they have at least one good one in there. Ow. Lenny and Carl, thank you for the four months. Didn't show a last stream. Okay, it must have been the uh, the stream before that then. It's I mean it's just a giant cardboard box. It's not that impressive. Hey, this works pretty well. Two strings ago? All right. It's a vacuum cleaner. Thanks, Coopsie. Sorry, I, I've got it so you can't post links. It would have been nice to be able to do that, but it's just a big cardboard box. I don't like the vacuum dog. Love the elevator music. Another one. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on. I'm gonna do a my next show, political commentary, yeah. It's what I'm known for. <laughs> Both online and uh, in my real life. They know me as the politic man. Boink, boink, boink. I only need one piece. My pajama man comic cool. Books. Let's see if we can find ten. Pajama oh, I'm gonna man find ten. Click on these buttons to move around. Hey, I found one. <laughs> this is so cool. I miss the land of darkness, man. Get me out of the sun. That's why, I think I said it already, but that's why I think the next Pajama Sam might have actually been a better choice for Halloween, because hey, it's, it's back to the kind of moody darkness. Oh no, don't. There's yeah. one. I like that there's even a mini map. Here's another one. Hey, I found one. It's troubling that they're looking at you. They look like, um, they look like kid pick stamps to me. You are what you eat is your favorite. Well, that's the one. I mean, we're not going to do it next as in today or tomorrow next, but next in the franchise. There's one. I really wanted to play Land of Darkness, or uh, No Need to Hide, but uh, we've ar I've already played it so many another times that Here's I decided to move on for the time being. One more. Hey, 
Hey, everybody. What's up, shy berserk? Are there any, like, trendy educational games now? Do kids play educational games? There it is. Yay! Do you want to play again? Roblox. <laughs> Yeah, see, Minecraft is the only thing. That's kind of where my uh, my mind went. It's just interesting. I didn't even... I guess I only just now realized. Because Humongous Entertainment, at least to me, was like a big deal. Everyone knew these games. It felt like. ABC Mouse? I did watch the Animal Crossing Direct. We actually talked about it at the uh, the beginning of the stream more in depth, but uh, I'm very excited, very happy. Okay, I gotta put uh, orange all the way to the right. Oh, hey, okay, this is what we need for the, uh, the wide pipe. Earthquake in a camp. Please recycle after use. And there's the guy. Here's another one. Here he is. That is a well-defined um, crotch area. Some might say a little too defined. I mean, that's not what I'm saying, but some might say that. <laughs> Just <laughs> okay. Oh, you don't even ch change the uh, I heard of Thimbleweed Park, but I didn't play it. So that's the thing, All the a lot of the old adventure games that people know that weren't like young or educational games, I didn't actually play because I was busy playing these. And then once I got Roller Coaster Tycoon, I was busy exclusively playing Roller Coaster Tycoon for like a few years. <laughs> machine pieces I'm supposed to find. I think it's part of the velocimometer. Hello? Hello? Hi. Velocimometer? Is that you? Yes. I'm scared. It's okay. But Jamma Sam is here to help you. I did not play Day of the Tentacle. I've seen a little bit of Day of the Tentacle. Dude, use here. the boxes. Uh, do you think you can get down from there? No. I don't think so. Well, never fear. I'll think of something. Thank you. Any trail games I haven't played? I, if there's not a video of it on my channel, I don't think I've played the trail game. I think I may, I only really played hey, well, Oregon Trail 2 it. until I started yes? reviewing it. Maybe you could jump down and I'll catch you. Oh no, I can't even look. I'm afraid of high places. Hmm. Hey, look at those boxes. I bet I could climb those. Broken age. No, but I think... I think somebody gave me broken age? That sounds really familiar. I don't see it. But that doesn't mean it's not there. Wait. Oh. 
must be thinking of this. I must be thinking of this that I was given. The day the world broke. Um, which I'm I'm unfamiliar with. Broken Age is a Tim Schafer game. Oh, is Broken Age the is that the more modern one? Uh, with the two different storylines. Okay. Um, if it's modern, then just it's it's safe to assume that I haven't played it. <laughs> To the wind machine? Sure thing, Velocimomometer. You can call me Velo if you want. Have not played okay. the Discworld games. Velo it is. Treasure Mountain, I think I have. Yeah. I definitely grew up playing Treasure Mountain. Spooky game I'm the most excited. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna play this month. It's kind of up to you guys. I have. I'll go over the options. I do have some that I'm uh, more eager for than others, but I'm not gonna say what they are because I don't. I don't want to affect the uh, polling process. I Spy Spooky Mansion has been done before. We did that maybe last year around this time. Welcome to Worldwide Weather, sir. Thanks. Um, let's go get the Y pipe. Yeah, Clue Finders. I think I streamed once, but um, I, I'm not very experienced Good day, with them. Mr. Sam. You know what? We must. I think we maybe played a Clue Finders demo off of like one of these humongous entertainment game discs. That sounds. Vaguely familiar. Oh, right. Nothing's happening. <laughs> I like that actually. That was pretty funny. You gotta squinch, dude. Ouch! That did the trick. Free at last! What a relief. You ever been stuck in a vending machine, Sam? I think I'm a little too big to fit in there. Yeah, I suppose you are. Say, where did you get that great outfit? This? It's my pajamas. I sleep in them. You have special clothes just for sleeping in. <laughs> of course. Why? Because, oh, well, that's not important right now. We have to get you back to the rain machine. Yeah, I'll bet they miss me. Can you give me a lift? Sure. Lucille, I love you, gal. Where you been? It's Cheese Giblet. Okay, repair the wind machine, uh, and then I gotta put the Y pipe. 
Oh, dude, I could go for some cheese squigglies right about now. That sounds good. Hello again. Hi, sir. dude. I've not played Monkey Island. I've watched long plays of Monkey Island. Uh, some of these games, I, I, since I haven't really made the time to play, I just I put them on and I watch them. story music. I don't think so. They must just sound similar. A uh, wind machine. We'll definitely do Spy Fox. I think until I've actually played through all of them, I shouldn't go back. Like I shouldn't go back to Freddy Fish until I've done a playthrough of the others. And once I get through the Sam ones, I shouldn't go back to Sam until I've played through Spy Fox. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep playing the same ones over and over. Yes, there, there's definitely going to be more Nancy Drew, for sure. Okay, here we are. Time to go back to work. Do I have to? Of course you do. Why? Because if you don't, then the rain machine won't work and we'll run out of rain. So? So, we need rain. It's good for plants and stuff like that. I know, I was just having fun with you. Why? Well, because... Gotcha! What do you know? I guess you did. All right, put me back in the machine already. Why Pipe uh, doesn't seem very happy. Sam? Well, young man, I see you fixed another weather machine. Yep. That's right, I brought the Y Pipe back to the rain machine. The weather is already starting to get better. Yes, the sandstorms at the South Pole have come down a lot. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. Okay, I've just got two more machines to go. Good. Keep us informed of your progress. Goodbye now. This is definitely my least favorite song. I remember specifically the first time I played this uh, I being wish like... My head was as I wish my head was what? Um, not into this this song. Uh, do you go here? I don't think that will do much good. Oh, okay, I see. I should turn this back first. This does sound almost like a RuneScape song. I can hear that. Here we are. Oh, goody, home. Okay, what is what is scuffed? Is scuffed uh, is that a new uh, hello uh, lingo? I wish it stopped sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, Sam. We wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machine. Thank you. At this rate, we'll have everything ship shape before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. Everything's under control. Don't have 
send me that claptrap. I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't it sunny in Acapulco? I distinctly said I wanted sun on my vacation. Uh... I'm coming over there now, and when I get there, I want some answers. Oh, boy. Mother Nature is coming. Here. Is that bad? Fire lightning. It could be. If everything's not perfect by the time she gets here, we'll be in big trouble. The files are all hopelessly out of date. What are we going to do? We're going to fire you. We better you. get to work updating them right away. I'll fix the sun machine. Thank you. And Sam. Yes? Please hurry. Okay. What's... That's the missing wing nut. The wing nut helps hold the sun machine together. Have we even seen that guy? Um... Outside. I definitely recall using like a shrink and grow machine at some point, but how you doing, Inspector? I love my work. I really do. Okay. I mean, I could, I could shrink -o. I just don't know what the, uh, You know, what is what does that do for me? Hello, is somebody out there? Ah. Man, that Hello. is uh, Who's there. Why it's Wingnut of tiny. course. Wingnut? You're on my list. I'm glad I found you. I'll bet. I am the most important piece of the sun machine, after all. Are you stuck down there? No, but I'm kind of lost. You'll have to come down here and get me out. I have to come down the drain? Yeah! Well, okay. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. What's a Pajama Sam? Okay. I'm sure I'm glad I clicked on that drain. Cause, uh, again, that's a very tiny little spot to click on. That's it. Okay. It's the world's flattest roller coaster. Is it? Sure hope I don't run into any big bugs. <laughs> it said that like it's a joke, but it doesn't it it doesn't play like a joke. That would be terrifying. Their grade is blocking the opening. I still can't fit through. Oh no. 
Did I have to use a crowbar on that first and then, and then do that? I'm too small to pry the grate open now. Well, that, that sure would have made sense. That sure would have made sense. Speed run ruined. I was doing so well. brain for this. This is the only, these are the games that are made for my brain. Anything harder than this and I get stuck and I get lost. <laughs> I was gonna say that it says ages three and up, but it actually doesn't. It says specifically ages three to eight, so I'm a little, uh, you know, a little past that. Uh, I'm not eight years old. Is that a shock? <laughs> Jess is not a loser. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, uh, Spy Fox has a higher age. They may actually do... Uh, <laughs> Age plus. Oh no, you know, I think it says something to 10. I think it maxes out at 10, actually. <laughs> this time I thought I was seven. <laughs> yes, yeah, Spy Fox is definitely harder. It's definitely gonna challenge me more than these two. Especially because I haven't, I think I've, I've played the first one. I don't know about the second one. Firefox is age 11. Which way should I go? It definitely says 5 to 10 on the, the boxes that I have, but that doesn't mean that they, you know, they could have changed that. What age range is Freddy Fish? It says 3 to 8 for the first few. I can see how you got lost down here, Wingnut. And then for the last one, it says four to seven. It goes from three to eight to four to seven, which I find strange. Try to get this your old way, copy, but I'm it doesn't work here. on I'll be right Windows there, 10. Wingnut. Yeah, working, running the old stuff on uh, current machines is kind of tough. I'm so glad I'm not trying to do that anymore. I remember trying to get virtual machines to work and all this stuff to review these old games and whatnot. I've got Wingnut. Now, I just have to bring him back to the sun machine. Yeah, trying to find a copy. Which game are you talking about? Uh, Norman San Diego? I only have USA at Carmen San Diego. Yeah, I didn't do much of the virtual machines. Virtual machines were a real pain. Like just getting them set up and then getting them to work right. Oh, it was just too much for me.
Attention, all personnel. The president is arriving. This is not a drill. I've got to hurry. Here we are, Wingnut. And not a moment too soon, I see. So, like, he's just a wingnut and he's a sentient wingnut? That just sounds awful. Like, I'd take Y pipe oh, over fucking wingnut. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we do? I don't know. We've got to stall her. We'll think of something. <laughs> Mother Nature, how nice to see you. Cut the chit chat, Thunder. I'm making a full inspection of the facility. And I'm warning you if everything isn't absolutely perfect, you're both in deep trouble. What's this? <laughs> Mother Nature, you haven't seen my slides on my trip to Cleveland. I'll try to live with the disappointment. Let me see those monitors. Dude, I want to check out that bowling Monitors! What's going on? Like everything is working just fine. It is kind of what the weather's it like is. in Seattle right now, so. Of course it is. And who might you be? I'm Pajama Sam. He's the little boy who. Uh, he's our handyman, that's who. Keeps everything running smoothly. I don't know. I love where that her dress is him. like it's rain. I'm happy to report that all the weather machines are working perfectly. Hmm. All right then. Bye -bye. Lightning. Keep up the good work. We're not fired? Uh, certainly not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm needed in Acapulco. What was that other noise? Splash. Sam, thank you so much for all your help. You fixed the last machine just in time. You saved our job. And the weather is all back to normal. Does that mean it'll be stormy at my house again? Yes. In fact, how would you like to take the controls for a little while? Me? Control the weather? Yeah. Sure. This controls how much rain there is. And this one is a volume control for the kabooms! Oh boy. For the booms? Oh, the kabooms. <laughs> That was PJ Sam 2. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Pretty good. I heard Otto. Is he coming from here? Is he the boat? Okay. Yeah, didn't it? Well, we saved the weather. What, what's more to do? Plenty of sunshine today. Good game, everybody. Oh, we're going to Spooky Pinball Night. Are you sure you want to leave? Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I will be right back. Take a little break. Uh, I gotta use the restroom. And then we'll be back and we're gonna play some Ultra 3D Pinball Ultra Creep Night from Sierra Games.
and probably like chit chat. I'm assuming pinball will be, you know, slow enough to where I can uh, chit chat a little more. Here I go. Well, I'm gonna. Where'd my? There we go. Okay. Burb. I'm back for scary pinball. What's happening? Feet? Uh, well, uh, no. <laughs> Veto. <laughs> okay. Veto. Okay, well, I'll allow that one. That was just pretty funny. <laughs> Supreme Rat, thank you for the 25 months. Hi, Ian. Just got done watching a good show, and now I'm here to watch a good moose. Love the streaming schedule. I'm, you know, I'm liking it too. Big Video is still on a big hiatus. Uh, big Video is is a little too big for me to <laughs> for me to finish right now. I still plan on it at some point, hopefully, but it's not it's not currently on my radar. Okay. Okay, so who is familiar with Ultra 3D, 3D Ultra Pinball Creep Night? Does anyone have fond memories of this? Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our castle. castle. Stay, Stay for a spell. Beep, beep. Gotta make sure this comp- what, Uh, that's not good. Uh, 
I know that my computer can run <laughs> 3D Ultra Pinball. Can my computer divide by zero? I don't know. I'd love to install it though. Does that mean it's installed? <laughs> uh, well, who knows what that means? Anybody know what that means? And now the setup's not working. That's not a good sign. Mmm, what a hamburger. It's on strike. I mean, it kind of seems that way. That way. Hmm. Yeah, it clearly had a problem with the disk speed check, but I'm not sure why. I mean, it's... Yeah, the CD looks fine. I could check for updates if I was connected to the internet. How about we skip this test? Don't test my... Don't, just don't test it. If I want to install 3D Ultra Pinball 2 or any of the Sierra demos, sure. No, let's just install the pinball. There we go. Thanks, Salty. How old is the machine? Uh, well, I don't know. LGR built it for me. If you search LGR Gateway, there's like a long video of him, him putting this together for me. So I don't really know the base stuff. But I've since upgraded it. I've upgraded the graphics card. I've upgraded the processor and the RAM. He put a, uh, there's an LGR sticker. I guess you can see it on the video, but he put it on the inside of the, when you slide the door off of the computer. I wish he'd put it anywhere on the front. I'll rep LGR. He, it's probably because he wanted to surprise me with it. I think of the incredible machine when I hear this. Phew. Sierra. Sierra. Especially <laughs> Uh, well, that was, that was freaking cool. Uh, okay, can I do a full screen? Is that a thing? No, oh, I don't like that. Let's go back to this. Mm -hmm. It looks fine. Sleepy Green Knight, thank you for the three months. And Stromblongst, thank you for the 13 months. Oh, some memories coming back for some people. Name your poison. Choose to play one table or all at once. You can play them all at once? Let's start with Castle. Oh no, it looks a little... Stay for a Aiming for the castle gate. 
looked a little not right. Oh, now it's fine. Now it's fine. How do I... Player one is ready. Okay, I need to... I don't even know how I did that. The gate is open. How do I get... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're right. I should update the title screen. Good call. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. That wasn't a fun place to go. It was just saved me. I can go in the castle. It looks like I can open a door. There is a lot going on. It's a lot to take in. Cornbread Cuban, thank you for the two months. Okay, how do I... Oh! Okay, you launch the ball by pushing both the right and the left triggers at the same time. I want to get up into the the graveyard. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. There we go. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I missed. I missed whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> don't go, don't go anywhere. Did I not get him? Oh, now he's dead. <laughs> This was the first game that I realized that pinball had like missions and stuff that wasn't about hitting the ball. Yeah, I remember learning that. I definitely learned that on uh, like actual uh, pinball machines. Oh man, I'm up in the top left. Shit. Anybody got a favorite pinball machine? I don't think I have a favorite. I remember trying the Roller Coaster Tycoon one and being pretty optimistic, but I, I didn't really like it. There was a ghost hunting pinball machine that I played at a Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It was like a modern one. And it was badass. You, the whole thing was going through this house to try and uh, find ghosts and whatnot. I haven't played the Adams Family one. That sounds good. I haven't played the Simpsons one either. I, don't think. I played a. Uh... What? She's my reward. Ooh. I'm going with quick multi-ball. Me, me, me hungry. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, things we were afraid of as a kid, Furby's got pretty creepy. 
when you, you know, hit him in the closet when they kept asking for food. The door to the graveyard is open. Go to the graveyard. Go to the graveyard. No. I want to go to the graveyard. The door is open, dude. Oh. Did I starve my Furbies? I think everybody starved their Furbies, right? You played with the Furby just long enough until you realized it just will never shut up about wanting food. And then you stick it in the closet to try and get it to go to fuck to sleep. And it just ends up going, I'm hungry. Feed me. Shit. I'm trying, dude. Fuck. The castle! Aim for the castle! I really want to go. No, no, no! Oh, okay, last one. Last one. I really want to go to the graveyard. Let me go to the graveyard, dude. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Here we go. Game over. That's a pretty good score. I think. Name your poison. We're going to the tower now. Purple Pepper, thank well, you. Well to my lab. Hit the Hit center alley to fire things up. This one's very busy. Thank you for the 20 months, Purple Pepper. 20 months. Wow, double digits. Loving everything you do as always, Ian. I hope you have a great spooky month. Thank you very much. And Major Tom Servo, thank you for the prime sub. Um, I'm having a hard time. Oh, there's, okay, there's. I'm having a hard time looking at this one. This one is, oh no. I feel like I recognize some of these sound effects. The music sounds like incredible machine music, which, I mean, makes sense since they were both Sierra. I wonder if it was the same composer. Or is this actually just incredible machine music? Candyland and Jurassic Park pinball PC games. I have not played a lot of pinball PC games. Oh, that was cool. Oh, well, I fucking blew it, but that was cool. Uh, no, I didn't play a ton of pinball PC games. I played uh, like 3D Space Pinball, the one that was just on Windows. But other than that, I didn't really get into pinball until later, until later. We did finish Goosebumps. The the entire playthrough is on my uh, my second channel, the Stream Archive. You would like to uh, see what happens. I really liked Goosebumps. Someone mentioned that there's another game. Excuse me. Which um, I would definitely check out. I was pretty impressed with the uh, the sets and the FMV of Goosebumps. They really uh, they really went the extra mile with some of those locations. Shit. Werewolf pinball. Or Switch. Yeah, I don't know. This is the first time I've played a computer pinball game in a, in a hot minute, I think. Now, if the coin game or Tower Unite Add pinball. Then let me see. Oh, 
I want to get over and hit those Skittle machines. You know, the ones over on the right? Still have not hit those machines. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Second Goosebumps sadly doesn't have a lot of FMB, but it's still great. Well, I'll still check it out. Incredible Machine 2 had a few composers and one of them worked on this game. Okay, I believe that. Because I think Incredible Machine 2 was the one that I played. Oh! Maybe I played 3. But if I played 3, it, it definitely had music from 2 in it. want to go hit the skittle. There we go. There we go. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay. I wonder if anyone succeeded in making a legitimately scary pinball game. Oh, you know what? That reminds me that I played, um, actually, I think I have played the Adams Family pinball machine. I played uh, a Monster Mash pinball machine, uh, and that was pretty good. I have not played any of the Are You Afraid of the Dark if they have multiple ones. I, I don't know. I don't know that I've watched or played or read any uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark. Do they do books? Captain Pepper, thank you for the 30 five months had to send my resubmit resubmit message after the other pepper account oh yeah we had purple pepper and claws lie gone thank you for the 12 months moose i hope you're doing well i'm doing all right i got to play some pj sam name your poison choose to play one and now i'm playing this which uh, you know, I'll admit I'm not as into as PJ Sam, but it's still pretty good. This one's a little easier on my eyes. Prison break! Get those inmates back now! Oh my god. That's... I literally went to where, the only area of the map where there are no prisoners. Let me out! No! I want to enter the right cell to fight somebody. To fate! Nope. Too much edges! To my fate! Gotta figure out my fate. Follow the rat for millions. Okay, so now my fate and a million dollar rat is, they're kind of in the same place. Yeah, I'm trying, dude. I'm really trying. Pinball quest. Are there any like narrative? Is that a narrative? game? I think a pinball narrative game would be cool. Honestly, I think a poker, a narrative poker game would be really fun to make. But like I don't think I could ever make a, you'd have to make like a a, a uh, like an AI system. Are there tilt buttons? That I'm not sure about. I'll check here in a sec.
Destiny yeah, a poker, a story poker game like Madden. Or maybe even like better than Madden. Because career mode, I don't think career mode would be as fun, but story mode, I mean, that'd be cool. Okay, well, Pinball Quest sounds like kind of a story. Oh, I'm really bad at hitting these like really tiny doors and pathways. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it just. Go to my fate. Still looking for that fate. The story is basically a few lines of text. I mean, you know, you get what you get. I'm thinking of a more, you know, maybe a more modern one. I think that a chess game would be cool too. A story chess game that uh, maybe also teaches you strategy as you go. I'd be all over that. Follow the rap for millions. I was not paying attention. Narrative pinball game called Pinball Wizard Tilt to the Top. Basically a career mode with all this exaggerated drama and intrigue. See, that sounds fun. Battle chess. I've played battle chess. I have chess. I have like, uh, what is it? This one. I got this guy. Uh, he's the chess master. I actually bought this recently just because I, I occasionally go on chess kicks and I wanted to play against the chess master. I haven't done it yet. Remember the image of the chessman? I think they, I don't know if they reused that image or they had him pose more. Yeah, I got three, I got uh, five, yeah, 550. I looked at 3000. I, I looked for, uh, this one specifically has, uh, I guess maybe the other, maybe the other ones have it too, but this one has like a, a teacher, thing on it where was it no I don't remember there was a reason I picked this one okay now I have to see I gotta see Name what happens your poison choose to play one table or all at once oh Welcome to our castle. Stay for a spell. Well, that's not what I thought. It was. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I think I'm good. I think I'm good on this spooky pin. Well, now that I'm playing. I'll play one more round of these before I uh, turn it off. Because I still want to go through these uh, tiny doors. The castle. Aim for the castle. Yeah, dude. Am I scared? I'm a little scared. Oh! Oh! I'm challenging destiny. Oh, bitch! I would like to be where the zombies are, please.
Can I go to where the zombies are, please? Oh, he got back up. Oh my god. <laughs> How do people do this? Oh! There it is. I gotta aim for the castle to make millions. Not the castle. Oh! Yeah, see, I'm like good now. I think that I'm okay. <laughs> it might be over pinball. The thing with the thing with computer pinball, like you can do stuff in computer pinball that you can't do in, in real pinball machines. The problem is that see this didn't even make me play all the game boards at once. I don't get it. I thought it was gonna name your poison. Choose to play one table or all at once. All at once. I don't get it. It's fun, but it's like the whole point of pinball is the the physical, you know, the physical element, the physics of the the ball, and watching all the mechanics of, uh, you know. You know what I'm what I'm saying. All the game boards at once is the story. You start in the castle and go through a door and get to the tower. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yes, hard truck. Um, I that's actually functional now. I I installed a couple of them as I was upgrading my computer. That was kind of my benchmark. I really wanted to play Hard Truck. Uh, we haven't done it yet, but I'm, I need to get my music set up. I need to be able to play some jazz or something as we truck. I'm gonna change my stream category. Yeah. See, I'd care about having accurate you know, like mid games. They don't they don't switch when I want them to switch. So. I kind of forget. Here we go. We're just chatting now. I guess maybe I should leave it on just chatting after I'm done streaming so that, like, if it actually does that delay thing again, it doesn't spit out a random game name. Is hard truck hard? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've only, I've only like, just barely driven around to make sure that it worked. I, I barely did anything. Okay. So, our next stream is on Monday. The game is up to choice. Let me introduce, we went over them, I think, last stream. But I've uh, narrowed them down, and uh, I'm going to go over what we got here. Pocket Bear, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, excited, very excited for the new Horizons update. It was much, much more substantial than I expected. And the fact that there is a uh, paid DLC and maybe the future of paid DLC. Very excited for that. Yes, the, the poll will be easy to get to just momentarily. Here's what I've selected. First up is Bad Mojo. This is a strange FMV adventure game. I will read the box of these. Enter a world of perilous puzzles and bizarre perspectives as a cockroach. What you discover may shock you. What you don't may kill you. Either way, you won't come out the same person. 
You may not even come out a person at all. Uh, so there's FMV, weird uh, adventure puzzling. I don't really know. I'm gonna I know that it's... Oh, shit. He's gonna make all the money now. The uh, jewel case of this is... a little fucked up. Um, I know that it's infamous for being strange. But that's all I really know. Ooh, the back of the the back of the instruction booklet is like an eyeball. Super cool. Oh, and I should note, I should note that um, the poll is a multi-choice poll. You don't have to just pick one. Feel free to vote for you're gonna, you're gonna get to vote for whichever you like. Major Tom Servo, thank you for the four dollars and change. Yo, Moose. Been subbed on YouTube since Lego Island 2, and somehow this is the first time I've ever caught you live. Marathoning your videos has been my number one paper procrastinating activity since I started my associates, and it still is as I wrap up my master's. Hey, congratulations, Tom. Great username. Great uh, master's degree. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am also, uh, I can be quite the procrastinator, so I get that. And a beautiful narwhal. Thank you very much for the $20. Finally caught you live. I've wanted to donate for a while, but have only recently found myself in a financial position to do so. Love your content, Moose. Keep it up. Thank you very much, narwhal. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. We're going on to number two. So we've got option number one. Freelancing can be, like, self-employment. It's got its upsides. It's got its downsides. We've got Scooby-Doo Showdown in Gahost Town. This one I do not have a description for, so I'll just make one up. Scooby-Doo and the gang get lost in Ghost Town, where, he has, where they have a terrifying showdown. Can you show the ghost downtown? Find out in Scooby-Doo Showdown in Ghost Town. Um, I think this one is animated. I did put it in uh, just to make sure that it played and then I immediately turned it off. I think it's got, at least in the intro, it had a little bit of animations, but I don't know anything past that. We've got the Magic Death Virtual Murder 2. This um this is the one that it it's got the dead lady on the back. Uh I'm not familiar with the company. I'm pretty curious about it, but I can't imagine it's going to be great. Uh can you solve this case? You are under tremendous strain, but you have all the resources of the police department at your disposal. There's Lucy Farewell, your assistant, who has filed the crime report, interviewed the suspects, and verified their alibis. You have to complete... Oh, you have complete access to the crime scene with the ability to view any piece of evidence in close-up detail. You also have the forensics lab on call, and you have access to the victim's desk. In okay, just tell me the whole game. Including her phone log, her calendar, and her investment records. Lucy also has also found you an expert on the voodoo religion and a lexicon of voodoo symbols. You'll need it all because the press is demanding to see you to see you and will not give up until you hold your press conference. Will you solve the case in time? Will you have the answers the press is demanding? Will you find the killer? Only time will tell, and if you do, there are still two other adventures you can explore just to keep the game interesting. So, yeah, that's uh, a little washed out, but it's a very long thing. Yeah, so it's like a, an occult murder kind of thing. Uh, you can see here on the back she's laying. I think that might be like a dead chicken or something. So this is interesting. I feel like if we play this... I have a feeling we might not get very far, but that's just a random guess. 
Next up, we have the uh, long uh, teased, always mentioned, yet still never played Ripper, starring Christopher Walken. Jack's back in 2040, a vicious serial uh, a vicious serial killer stalks the mean streets of New York, eviscerating his victims and vanishing without a trace. The police are baffled, the city paralyzed with fear. Only you, as crime reporter Jack Quinlan, can crack the case. And this game features over three hours of full screen, full motion video across six CDs. Four different endings uh, allow for extensive replayability, state of the art special effects, uh, it features the music of Blue Oyster Cult, which is really going to be interesting to see how the Twitch DMCA... I might have to turn off the Blue Oyster Cult music. I'm not totally sure about that one. High-resolution graphics and a beautifully rendered first-person 3D world bring the adventure to life. Over 35 interactive puzzles and combat sequences to challenge every hardcore gamer. Hardcore gamers only, of course. Also starring Jimmy Walker, Tanhee Welch, David Patrick Kelly, and O.C. Davis. The back just looks great. Don't fear the DMCA. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that it's... The thing is, I've heard that it's the opening song, but I've also heard that the song is heavily featured in like the final puzzle. So it might not be avoidable. I just don't know, you know, YouTube is one, I think they'll just take the ad money, that's fine. I just don't want to get Twitch mad at me. Um, but we'll just see if this is one we play. This one, uh, probably a good choice. Again, I don't want to say which ones I'm super pulling for, but I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, the originator of survival horror is back, and it's scarier than ever. Two diverse adventures await you. Conquer your fears as Edward uh, Carnby or Aline Sed Sedrek. Tame the darkness with sophisticated flashlight technology. <laughs> Locate hard-to-find survival items and scare off light-sensitive monsters. That is some sophisticated flashlight technology. Uh, in theory, eventually we would get to, to play all of these. I'm just, what's, what are we playing next? Battle 12 demonic breeds of monsters, all of whom want to make you their dinner. Arm yourself from an arsenal of eight supernatural weapons... Stunning but terrifying graphics pull you into the suspense. Tackle your adventure the way you want with fully customizable controls. So this one does not have FMV, but it does have sophisticated flashlight technology, which does sound pretty promising. Oh, this one says, okay, here we go. Let me, I'm going to read the uh, inside cover here. Edward Carnby and Aline Cedric are about to face their worst nightmare, out to avenge the murder of their friend and colleague. Carnby and Aline arrive on Shadow Island only to discover that it is held in the grip of an evil force. Now they must uncover the clues to help them reclaim three ancient tablets before the ultimate terror is unleashed. Confronted by the menacing cre confronted by menacing creatures and unspeakable horrors, will they survive the night? So that's this one. And finally, this is a, this is a game that I always saw myself back when I did a bunch of uh, you know I bought these back when I was doing a bunch of retro game reviews. And this one specifically I picked up thinking that I would do a video on it just because it looked so weird, but I never actually got to it. And that's Armed and Delirious. Five CDs. It claims to be an unusual adventure.
You have to play it to disbelieve it. This is not your typical adventure. Sure, Armed and Delirious has five CDs filled with spectacular graphics, clever puzzles, and amazing animation, but this game also contains whacked out weirdness, illogical logic, and odd antics that have been shown to cause states of extreme amusement and hilarity in lab rats and sausage dogs. So go ahead, join Granny on an inner space voy voyage to 14 highly unusual worlds. Visit an alien shopping mall, climb inside a microwave, outsmart the fiendish mad rabbit, help Napoleon write a symphony with cannons, and be back in time for dinner. But don't blame us if you burst out laughing so hard you squirt soda out your nose. You have been warned. Uh, so your granny and uh, le let's I'll read the inside here. Give it a fair shot. Granny noticed that things were getting, well, a little strange. Even her loyal sausage could tell that something was wrong. When she found out her family had been swallowed into space by the mad rabbit, she decided that enough was enough. It was time to kick some lepine butt. And so this delirious but determined lady set out on the adventure of a lifetime. Visit five planets and 14 worlds, solve dozens of ingenious puzzles, Use the unique brave Braventory system to access items. See hundreds of hilarious animations. Meet talking trees, space aliens, and crazed Vikings. Foil the schemes of the nefarious Mad Rabbit. Explore five CDs filled with outlandish adventures. So that those are our options. Armed and delirious, alone in the dark. We got bad mojo, which I also have a big big box for. I should have uh, I should have had it here, but I don't. Squooby doo. The magic death, virtual murder two, and Ripper. No, you will be you will be allowed to vote on multiple games. And you can do your voting at brutalmoose.com slash vote. Um, I set it up here so that it could be easily accessed on the VOD. If you are watching the VOD, you are, uh, you are free to vote. I, I set this up so you would have some time to do input. So I hope that works. It's just a Google form. So it should work. And I will, um, I don't think I have the results. I don't think I've, I had it so you could show the results. I'll show them when we start whatever stream on Monday. That's the, that's the plan. Yeah, I think you have to be logged into Google. It's a Google form. Uh, you, you do that to prevent, I think it's to prevent multiple voting. But you can vote for multiple games, so just pick whichever you would like to see, and we will. Uh, I will stay true to that. And that's it. That's it. That's all I got for today. We have finished Pajama Sam 2. We played a little bit of Creep Night. And, uh, yeah. Monday, who knows? Monday, it's going to be one of these, one of these guys. What if everyone just votes for every game and it's an equal tie for them all? Well, then that will be quite a situation. <laughs> that will be, I will, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. If that happens, I'm just going to hit up the discord. I'm going to be like, someone who hasn't voted, please come vote in this. <laughs> Crystal Caliburn. I don't know that one. All right, that's it for today.
ARG streamer inside of mind is trying to understand understand Televoid. Isn't Televoid? Didn't he do a uh, a video on Televoid forever ago? Okie dokie, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Monday. All right. Here's a, one of these guys. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. There we go. I don't have any Halloween music to play. Uh, but it would be like, woo-woo, 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 woo-woo.